In the deserts of the eastern Sahara, eastern Libya and western Egypt can be found a rare type of glass known as Libyan desert glass. There is no known verifiable reason for its existence. It has been used in jewellery and by ancient people to make tools, but where it came from is open to wide speculation. Some geologists think it is formed from a meteorite airburst 26 million years ago when intense heat melted the desert sand into the glass. In a somewhat similar fashion to the Trinitite glass which was formed in the 1945 Trinity nuclear bomb test in the USA. But while the Trinitite has a green tinge and also contains sand grains and other debris that's embedded into it that happened when the glass was still molten, the Libyan desert glass is different. The Libyan desert glass contains no embedded debris, meaning it was not molten on the ground or even molten traveling through the air as airborne molten material would also have gathered debris to it and, like all liquid substances, taken on a round shape while traveling through the air, such as a lava-based thunder egg, for example. Also, there is no other evidence of any such air bursts happening, no other signs of heat, no craters, no scorching, nothing. The meteorite explanation is nothing more than pure speculation. And the age of 26 million years is also pure guesswork as, like rocks, inorganic glass cannot be dated. Some flat earth believers say the glass is part of the firmament dome which protects the world from the waters above and speculate it is a carryover from when the Great Rift was cracked open thousands of years ago, which allowed those waters to rain down for 40 days and nights, which resulted in the flood of Noah. The Australian Aboriginal people also have an ancient legend about the Wandjina creating non-stop rain, presumably from the Great Rift, or river in the sky, as their legends call it, to drown all the people after the Wandjina's friend, a sacred owl, was tortured by the people of Earth. The other strange thing about the Libyan desert glass is its composition. Some of it is 100% pure glass with nothing else in it, while others are 98% silicon dioxide with some having very small trace elements of iron. But the Sahara sand has 7% aluminium and 4.5% iron oxide, while the Nubian sandstone that some of the glass is found resting on has 15% iron oxide with carbon, potassium, sodium, calcium and aluminium silicon oxides present, which basically means the glass did not come from the sources that it is sitting on. Also, the Libyan desert glass is much denser than any other glass that is attributed to any kind of impact heat. As mentioned, it has no embedded debris like the other glasses do, and some pieces are as large as a football while other glasses elsewhere that are attributed to high heat, uh, such as from impacts, are small tiny fragments in comparison. And it does not resemble lightning strike glass either, which is hollow and full of embedded grains. After all is said and done, what we have is a very pure and dense glass found in the desert with no known source and which does not match any other natural phenomenal glasses and a bunch of best guesses where it came from. Is it from a meteorite airburst despite the composition not matching the ground it sits on? Could it be part of a protective shield covering the earth which broke off for some reason a long long time ago? Or is there some simple explanation we are all overlooking? Please let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Please give the video a thumb up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video.